Maybe. He's happy not have to wear a mask right now. You know? Yeah, yeah that's been, a lot of people have been happy about that lately. But uh, my name is Ryan Quarles, and I'm your Commissioner of Agriculture. And when I was your age, I was in 4-H and FFA. Grew up on a tobacco and cattle farm up in Georgetown, Kentucky. And one of the most favorite parts of my job is doing what we're doing today with your county clerk and Mr. Agriculture here, Warren Beeler, uh, is raising money for you all. Uh, my first speech was in 4-H, and I was terrible. And uh, but I got, but I improved. And then later in life, I put on the stylish blue corduroy jacket, learned about parliamentary procedure and civics. And my first trip to D.C. was through these two groups. And you all are so fortunate to be able to be part of two of the most successful youth development youth organizations in the country. 4-H, there's a quarter million 4-Hers in Kentucky. It's a lot. FFA, 15,000, and you all go to a convention, you all know that Kentucky punches above their weight class, and you all are part of organizations that turn young people into leaders, and that's why we're so thrilled today to work with our county clerks from across Kentucky to raise you all money with a program we call AgTag. And so how does this work? So every March, farmers from across the state come to the county clerk's office to renew their license plate, and they're asked a simple question. Would you like to invest in the future of Kentucky agriculture? And most of them say yes. And they donate $10 out of their back pocket to you all. And that $10 is divided equally three ways. A third of it goes to 4-H, a third goes to FFA, and a third comes back to us for Kentucky Proud Program so we can help put on the Kentucky State Fair, regional livestock shows, Kentucky women in agriculture, things like that. And one of the best parts about the program is that half of the money that's raised right here in Grayson County comes back to you all, comes back to your chapters. And you all use it for different purposes. And if you don't mind, but what do you all use your ag tag money for? We use it for affiliate, um, for the affiliate chapter membership. Um, because we're an affiliate chapter, we're able to help pay for more members that come into our classrooms. That's great. For 4-H, we use ours for event scholarships, senior scholarships, and camp scholarships. That's great. And on the state level, that money is used to put on your all's conventions, help out with 4-H and FFA camp. And last year, we broke an all-time record high and raised $731,000 for you all. And we couldn't do this without the strong support of not just our clerks, but also the deputy clerks. Thank you all so much for asking the question, and they deserve a round of applause. Let's give our county clerk a round of applause. Well, I just want to thank you all for everything you all do and continue doing for the state and for the farmers. So. Well, we appreciate that. And we have a couple special guests here. Warren, would you like to say a few words? I, I don't think I could do what I've done if it hadn't been a in the same situation, what 4-H did for me, what FFA did for me, and I, uh, I wouldn't miss any opportunity to give back uh, there. So I, I got a new truck. I got to come and get my, pay my ten dollars to get my good tag. Because the time you see this, you know. But basically, we've got people out there, farmers and such, that are willing to pay a little extra for their tag to support 4-H FFA in Kentucky Pride. So uh, proud of our commissioner. The, Run the roads. He's been a he's been the biggest cheerleader we've ever had for this for this program, and that's uh, that's wonderful. Because I figured you guys could use the money, couldn't you? Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. We have our judge executive here. Would you like to say a word too? Yeah, I just I'd like to say I want to thank Commissioner for coming to Grayson County and uh, promoting this uh, promoting these tags. Uh, FFA and uh, 4-H is a big part of our community and uh, I've never seen anyone work quite as hard as Commissioner Quarles at doing this type of uh, doing this type of work. I mean he, he's everywhere. I, I follow him on Facebook and I see him. He's everywhere. I mean I don't know how he got from the eastern side to the western side so fast. So but uh, he he does a great job of what he's doing. He, he'll do a great job at anything he does, and I just want to thank him for, for coming by Grayson County today. Well, we appreciate it. We have some magistrates here as well. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you for what you do. Yeah, thank you. Now it's time for me to ask you all to do some work. We're going to do three things to help make this a success. We're going to take a picture here, hopefully get it in the paper, hold some license plates. That's going to help spread the word. So we have an entire month to get these license plates renewed. Number two, if you all can take some pictures, maybe you all can share it on social media. 
get the word out there. Uh, plus, that's free. Yeah. And the third thing, I suspect you all might know some farmers, do you? <laughs> yeah. Well, guess what? When you all ask them to donate that $10, they're more than likely to say yes, opposed to if I were to ask. Okay, so you all are your best salesmen and women on this. And so go out in the county, let them know, and be sure to tell them that half that money comes right back here to Grayson County. So you think you all can do it? Yeah. All right, well, let's grab some plates and line up. And uh, if you hold a plate, make sure you put it like this, not like this, okay? <laughs> That's been an issue in the past. So. And we'll get in here for a picture. So, Warren.